How to use UWizard, UWizard tutorial for beginners. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be talking about how you could use UWizard completely as a beginner. So we will be focusing on how you could use the different features and how you could interact with UWizard's UI as a beginner so that you wouldn't be so lost when interacting or when using this website. So if you would like to know more information about UWizard also, you can simply visit their website over here and read through the different items posted in their website so that you could learn more information about how your wizard works and what they are about. Now, to get started right away, you're simply going to click on sign up for free if you don't have an account yet. If you do have an account, you can simply go right away and log into your account. Now, when creating an account, you're going to have to enter a first name, last name, work email, and password over here. After fulfilling all of these requirements, you can now create an account and get started with your wizard. You can also create an account with your Google account or your Microsoft account over here. Now for me, I'm simply going to log in right away and we will be redirected to the homepage. Now over here, this is the homepage of your wizard, basically like their dashboard. Over here on the left side, you can see your organization over here. You could open this, you could create a new organization and add a new team to that specific organization. That is how the team members work. This is also your project section where you can see the different projects that you have started. In the project section, you could create a new blank project over here. You could also generate with an auto designer, but it is currently in beta, meaning it's not going to function 100% every time. So maybe there will be some bugs or there will be some issues every now and then. So you could use this and play around, but if you want to have a sure ball and no issue, creation of your projects, I suggest that you start block right away. Uh, you could also start with a template over here. You could choose start from a template and you could search a specific type of website or specific type of app that you're trying to create. And if there is a template for that, you will be able to find it in the template section. You can also view it over here on the left side when you click on the template options over here. Now in this section, as you can see, you could view all templates that are available for all devices over here. You have your Play with user, Google material, email, habit tracking app, and all of those different types of applications or websites that are available over here. You can also check out templates that are specifically for web, tablet, and mobile phones over here. Now, for example, I would like to create an e-commerce platform or an e-commerce website, and we could use and search a template for an e-commerce. Simply type in E, then type in the commerce over here. And as you can see, it will filter out the results of the template so that you can only see the e-commerce type of items over here. And as you can see also that this is for pro only. And you will be able to upgrade your account by going back to the homepage over here and clicking on upgrade to pro. Now you could try the pro for free, but let's click on upgrade to pro for now. And as you can see, Currently, we are using the free version and we will be able to have unlimited creators. We can export to PNG, JPEG, or PDF, and we could create up to two projects. For the pro version, we have the monthly and yearly. For the monthly, you would need to pay at least $19 or let's say $20 per month. And for yearly, you will have to pay $12 per month. Now, as you can see here, the features available for pro are unlimited screens access to all templates and up to a hundred different projects. For the business over here, as you can see, you will be able to avail the business option for yearly, which is $40 per month. And you will be able to use everything from Pro. Everything is unlimited and you have a dedicated customer support over here. And there's also seats over here for your team member. You could manage your billing in this section and you could also cancel your subscription in this area as well on the billing beside the settings over here for the settings you could see different options over here you could remove or delete your organizations by clicking this option over here now this is the team section this is where you could add your team members and track them now under the team section this is where you could add your team members and track their progress and see information about them now right now let's see to be able to create a new project, go back to project section over here and click on new project over here. 
Now, when you click on the new project, you have the option to either create a web, tablet, or a mobile design. Let's say I would like to create a design for a web. So I'm simply going to click on web and we will be redirected to the editing page of your wizard. Now, as you can see, there is a lot on our screen. As a beginner, you might be overwhelmed, but we will give you a tour so that you will see or know what everything is going to do. Now over here, as you can see on our center, this is our canvas. You have some sort of uh, layout over here. You can see a laptop design so that you will know that this is for a laptop or a computer. And over here on the left side, you could add stuff like on your screen. You could add an empty screen, a wireframe, screenshot. You can also import designs from Figma, Sketch, or Adobe XD. You could choose from templates if ever you change your mind. You click on templates and you could use different templates of different sections of a website. For example, over here, you have blog, you have cards, content, dialogue, footer, form, gallery, and many more. If ever you would like to have some help on adding or creating content for your web design. You could also add some shapes over here. You have card white, navigation headbar, navigation form, vertical, and horizontal divider. You can also add some text over here. You have your paragraph blocks over here, header, title, subheader, and caption over here. You could also upload images into your design. You could choose from Unsplash, Jiffy, or you could also upload them, or you could also generate an image over here because they also have an AI generator. So let's say over here, shoes. Then you could generate the image by clicking on generate image. And your wizard will also generate you the image that you ask it to do, depending on your prompt. So, right off the bat, your wizard is already very useful and has a lot of features that you could use. And as you can see, this is our output over here. Now, you could also add some icons, different vectors that you could use to design your website over here. And you could also add some forms like questionnaires, switch buttons, slider, input and output, or drop bar over here. There's also button options over here, and you could also click on magic over here, which would allow you to have auto designer, wireframe scanner, screenshot scanner, theme generator, and all of these options over here. Right off the bat, your wizard is already a very useful application or a very useful platform that is very beginner friendly because almost everything is automated for you. You can also design over here on the right side. When you click on design, you will be able to see like the different elements on your canvas right now. You can also edit the interaction between two elements in your page. You can see the different screens over here. You have another screen. Right now, this is one screen. You could add like, for example, this is the home screen. And then this is the about screen. You could do that. And you could also check out your notes. Check out your mode over here, mock-up mode and wireframe mode over here. You can see the different interaction. And that is basically how the different features work. Now, if you're wondering how you will be able to move around or like add stuff to your website, to be able to move around, you're simply going to click on your scroll bar, which would hold or grab your screen, which you can use to move around your screen over here. Then you can simply zoom in and zoom out by holding the control button. And to be able to add like elements like what we saw earlier in the shapes, you can simply drag it into your section over here. Now, as you can see, when I drag this, you will see this section over here where you could edit like different elements of this specific element that you have added. There we go. And you could add like borders, shadow, if you would like, like retro, stuff like that into your design, then build them all together. You will also see like a to-do list over here on the right side, which would help you with your first time usage of your wizard now for example i would use some templates over here and you could have like product catalog over here you simply drag it into your page over here now we have our product catalog now let's say i would like to change a different image let's move this by the way right now when you put it or once you place it on your canvas over here it will no longer be grouped so you're going to have to select them one by one or like uh, highlight them all to be able to move them all together but right now you will be able to move them individually now, if you would like to change the image you're simply going to click on the image and you know over here you could upload image you could suggest have some shadow you could crop this as well change the style and there are more options over here like different settings for your specific element that you have selected 
You could also edit uh, text by simply double clicking on them. Then you could edit the uh, specific text that you are seeing over here. And after editing or after creating your design, as I, I suggest as a beginner, you could create a preliminary design or like a basic design just to have a feel of how to use your wizard. And after creating it, you can simply either share it over here by clicking on share. You could export it by clicking on export. You could export it as a PNG, JPEG, and PDF, and then present it to your class, your workmates, or wherever you would like to present the design that you have created. You could also click on preview over here so that you could preview this on what it would look like on an actual settings. For example, over here, let's wait for it to load. This is what it would look like if ever we publish this design that we have created in real life. And as you can see, don't show this again. And there we go. This is our design over here. You could full screen this and this is what it would look like. And if ever you have like lots of interactions, you will be able to interact them over here as well. And after that, you could go back to your home page by clicking on the icon over here. And then you could do other projects once again. Now keep in mind if your account is using the free version or the free plan, you will be able to only create two projects over here. This is the limit for the free plan. And that's it guys. That is how you will be able to use your wizard as a beginner. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.